Once upon a time, there is a man who loved washing his hands. Wash, 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 wash,
refers to the shape of Chinese characters. Simplified Chinese is used in mainland China, while traditional Chinese is used in Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Macau. On the other hand, the shape of Chinese characters used in Japan is called Shinjitai, which literally means new character shape. Both Japanese and Chinese have been using the traditionally shaped Chinese characters. After the World War II, however, the government of Japan and that of mainland China decided to simplify the shape of Chinese characters separately. Japan simplified the shape in Japanese way, and mainland China did it in Chinese way. Meanwhile, in Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Macau, people keep using the old shape. As a result, nowadays, there are three types of the Chinese character's shape. One, Shinjita in Japan. Two, simplified Chinese characters in mainland China. And three, traditional Chinese characters in Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Macau. They are sometimes same and sometimes different. For example, this one. This character means water. The shapes of these characters are same among the three types. The next example is this. This character means child. The shapes of these characters are different among the three types. The last example is this. This character means island. For this character, the same shape is used in Japan, Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Macau. But this is different from the one used in mainland China. Okay, the next topic, pronunciation. The pronunciation of Chinese character is always different between Japanese and Chinese. Boring, so boring. Who cares the Chinese characters in Japan? Oh, uh, oh, uh, there is a man dancing with a pillow. Below challenge, 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 below challenge. The pronunciation difference is like that between English and French. English and French share a lot of words. The meanings and spellings of these shared words are same between two languages. But in most cases, the pronunciations are different. For example, table. Table. I cannot speak French, but I hear its French pronunciation is table. I don't know if it is correct. Let's get back on track. The pronunciation difference of Chinese characters between Japanese and Chinese. This time, I pick up this character again. The two languages share the meaning and the shape. But the pronunciation is different. It is pronounced sui in Japanese while shui in Chinese. They are similar but different. Okay, let's talk about the last topic with ice cream. The last topic is which Chinese characters you should remember before coming to Japan? The answer is you don't have to remember any characters. The Chinese characters are so complicated that it takes almost 10 years for us Japanese to memorize them. You need to memorize more than 2,000 characters in order to fully understand the Japanese language. So, if you're not from a Chinese-speaking country, I think it is so hard for you to enhance your knowledge on Chinese characters for a short time. But I highly recommend that you pay attention to Chinese characters during your stay in Japan, even if you cannot understand them. This is because they are so beautiful and they are part of Japanese culture. There is a wide variety of fonts around the streets in Japan, and you will find that one of what makes townscape in Japan so different from that in your country is the existence of Chinese characters. So. Thank you for watching this video. If you have a topic that you want me to pick up, please share it with me in the comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to wash your hands.
，拜拜。